Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BCRX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Now, there is a little bit of perspective that goes into this chart. And this pers perspective revolves around kind of what was your strategy going in, meaning if you're a day trader and you bought right there and you were hoping to sell within like three minutes, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. But if you care about the big picture of things, you know, the, the grand perspective, then the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base and therefore the uptrend um, that's been being built can continue uh, to remain in place. So you got to kind of just ask yourself, well, what was my strategy going in? If you don't know what your strategy going in was, well, that's a whole nother conversation. But I'm going to be talking about things from the big picture perspective. So yes, in my mind, the chart is still totally bullish, but depending on your perspective, again, if you bought right there, uh, maybe the chart's not bullish to you. But in my mind, big picture, completely bullish. So let's map out some levels of support and resistance. The ideal level of support, meaning if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay up above $6.70, that would make the chart by far look the strongest. But by no means am I saying that if the price drops below 670 that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. That's just that preferable level. Next area of support after that is just the previous breakout point from down here. That's just the foundational rule. Resistances tend to act as support, and that's there at $6.33. And from the big picture perspective, keep an eye on that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average. I re realize it's totally irrelevant given it's way down there and the price is way up there, but keyword there being moving average. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to continue to move its way upwards. And very easy way to look at this, very black and white. As long as the price is above that purple line, then the bulls are in full control. Bulls are in full health, you know, in, in regards to this current move. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this upwards move is going to continue, where are some of these battlegrounds at? First area of resistance, I'm going to call it right here at $7.15. And then after $7.15, you get to the fun level. And I call it the fun level because, hey, I'll, I'll fully admit it's very fun to talk about, you know, testing highs and, you know, potentially breaking to new highs. And that's where 755 up here comes into play. However, before you start talking about the fun level, Bulls first got across that first bridge down there at $7.15. All in all, though, past couple of days have been very solid. And at this point, as long as the price keeps on putting in higher lows, long term chart's going to take care of itself. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.